All right, welcome back to Hook, Line and Sinker. Now, as we alluded to before the break, Hearty, we are about to discuss boats on the yep. show and specifically what we're going to do for a boat for 09. Big boats, Nick. We're sick and tired of walking around the wonderful marinas in this country with our boat envy, looking yep. at all these nice boats with their fly bridges and the cruisers, and we want one. You don't have to stand tall, but it's time to stand up, and we are going to go on an exhaustive search yes. for the perfect boat for us. Something big, something flat with a flybridge, probably, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah. The exhaustive search for our new vessel took us to marinas and boatyards all over the country. Then we made a very sobering discovery. Large, impressive flybridge boats cost a lot. Heaps, in fact. So that got us thinking about what about taking an old, unimpressive, cheap boat and transforming it into something magnificent. Welcome to Yamaha Project 350. Unleash the beast. Yamaha Project 350. Unleash the beast. Yes, meet the beast. An unloved 1989 Bertram 23-foot flybridge. Our plan is to rip the guts out of Beast and attach to the rear end of the world's most powerful outboard motor, the awesome Yamaha 350 four-stroke V8. All we had to do was convince someone at Yamaha it was a good idea. For Beast, have a go at it. That's the project. Is that what we're working with? That's what we've got to work with, Gibbo. Your You've thoughts? you got to be joking. <laughs> well, <laughs> hey... <laughs> Unleash. Unleash the beast. Correct. We can't stop here. Let's get amongst it. Let's do some testing. Would you like to get on board? I cannot wait to get on board. I cannot wait. Across Australia, boats like this are pretty cheap, and that's not because they're bad boats, just that most of them have one or more ageing inboard engines. And unless you're a mechanical miracle worker, that means big bucks and headaches. Whoa. 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 <laughs> All right. What do you think about that thing? Oh. Make a good mooring. Let's uh, ask the question, guys. Yep. To the engine, will yep. it go? Well, it has various moods. Um, sometimes it goes all right. Other times it's less good. To be fair, Beast has a better engine than most craft of this vintage, but still nothing close to the reliability offered by a Yamaha outboard. Well, looking so the at the engine, it'd be about 10-year-old. Yeah. What it has got is original manifolds, risers. What we know about those manifolds and risers is they don't have a 10-year lifespan. They have a uh, about a 5-year lifespan. So it is a very original engine. We can see some rust marks on there. It's got some water leaks. So what we'll try and do now is we'll identify if it goes. We'll take it for a run. We'll get some uh, some information out of it. We'll see how much fuel it uses and what kind of speed we can get. And uh, we'll start looking at how we can pull her out. You good? All clear? Yep. We did manage to coax her into life and ran an extensive set of acceleration, speed, fuel and noise tests right across the rev range. The old Chevy V8 hanging together long enough for us to get a full set of data. returned a healthy 37 knot top speed while sucking down a lazy 95 litres an hour of unleaded fuel. You can find all the performance specs on the website www.hooklinesinker.tv but suffice to say that after Beast's maiden voyage even the big boys from Yamaha were sharing the dream. A timber, mate we could get a guy down here with a bit of sandpaper and some varnish, do a bit of timber work. The, ga the dash will have new gauges on it, so yeah. that'll clean up beautifully. What we'll get is we'll get some tinted uh, acrylic to go over the top of all the old holes 
and drill with the new gauges yeah. and the new control. So relatively, you know, $50 in material yeah. and it'll come up smick like new.